squat body fat percentage, the average man and the average woman in the US. Okay, this is Hamanish, and he measured in at 40.7% body fat on BIA and 37.2% on DEXA. And keep in mind, these numbers are very accurate. DEXA is often considered the reference standard for body composition in exercise science research and in clinical practice. It's very precise, and a 2020 review suggested that DEXA and MRI are actually comparably accurate for measuring body fat. And when combined with BIA, what I'm gonna show you has tighter control and higher precision than most published exercise science studies, and it's gonna be way more reliable than the online body fat charts that are out there, which use way less accurate tools, and sometimes pure eyeballing, which can be way off, especially if there are differences in lighting. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what each level looks like under the exact same lighting. Okay, so compared to 50%, you can see that at 40%, the waistline is down, the overall physique is leaner, but overall, body fat distribution is still similar. And this is Katie. She's a nurse who just became a personal trainer herself, and she measured in at 37.6% on DEXA and 40.3% on BIA. 40% body fat on women can look very different from person to person, depending on how much muscle they have and their individual body shape. And if we compare a male at 40% to a female at 40%, you can see that the female looks relatively leaner. That's because women store about 10 to 12% more essential fat than men, so 40% on a woman is visually more like 28 to 30% on a man. Men also tend to store more body fat around their stomach, lower back, and neck, while women tend to store more body fat around their hips and thighs. This is in part because estrogen promotes fat storage in the lower body, while testosterone promotes more visceral fat storage around the organs and midsection. And that's a trend that'll continue at every body fat level. At 40%, how you feel day to day varies a lot from person to person too. Katie said that overall, she feels pretty good, has high energy, and her strength is solid, while Matthew, who came in at 43.8%, said that he does struggle with sleeping, and even some simple tasks like putting on his shoes can be difficult. I definitely feel it with like with sleep and stuff like that. I haven't been diagnosed with it, but like I'm, I know why I have sleep apnea. Mm. If I just fall asleep on my back, I'm gonna wake myself up snoring. Being conscious of what shoes I wear, if I'm going somewhere where I might have to take my shoes off, mm. sometimes it's difficult to just like pop my shoes off, mm. you know, because like I'm heavier. At 40% body fat, men typically have a higher risk of cardiovascular disease and metabolic issues. But for women, the risk isn't as elevated. In both cases though, exercising and eating a healthy diet can do a lot more than you'd think. Even if weight loss isn't occurring right away, research shows that exercise can still significantly improve your health, strength, and mental well-being. And